All right, the helicopter just dropped Greg off. We're Woo. glad you're out here. Thank God. Thank goodness. I was like Walter Mitty. I jumped out of one side of the helicopter. He landed in the in the water over here, though. That's yeah. the problem. I man. did one of those superhero lands where my fist was on the ground and I yeah. Uh oh, he's coming right over. He's coming he's back. He's coming over by here. again. He's got his listening device. Yeah. Balance beams. There you go. All right, welcome back, Talflater folks. Officer Greg, Danny, and Jeff out here with you again in another installment in the series of how to screw with California gun laws. So <laughs> Legally. We brought, we brought you recently the Keltec RDBC, which was a nice little workaround. Here's another one from the OG safe where we have taken, uh, this is called the Fight Light SCR. Fight Light is a company who has designed these little workarounds and it allows you to put your AR-15 upper bolted straight on to a California legal lower. And the thing that makes this legal is the fact that, first of all, there's no pistol grip. There's no collapsible stock. And without those two, and the uh, the evil, evil flash hider in the front, and we've replaced that with a muzzle brake. This is a fully California legal rifle. However, it shoots just as fast, just as far, and is just as easy to reload as any old AR-15. So, and as a side note, for everybody who in the comment section says, you need to move out of California, it sucks. Listen, we know that California gun laws suck. We are not the worst in the nation, trust me. There are states back east and even uh, Washington and Oregon to the north of us that have far more restrictive gun laws in certain areas. However, we do have some gun laws in this state that we have to work around. And one of the most recent is this AR-15 or assault rifle ban where you can't have a pistol grip, collapsible stock, or a flash hider. So. This is a great workaround for those people who do choose to stay in California. Some of us have families here. We have very good incomes here. We're not about to flee this state. Americans don't flee oppression, folks. We stick around and we fight it. This is an awesome little option for uh, resistance against California gun laws. This is a way for us to own uh, pretty much a fully functional rifle. Oh, wow. Here in the state of California, it takes uh, these 10 round magazines, whether it's a Magpul magazine <coughs> or military aluminum GI magazines. It takes a full magazine and uh, does all the work that, that you need a rifle to do in California. So they can keep making laws, we can keep, keep inventing stuff to get around it. Let's take a closer look at it here on the table. Okay, so some of the features here, let's start from the butt again. Uh, this is the Fight Light, the standard Monte Carlo style stock. And inside this thing, we'll take it apart here in a second and I'll show you. There is a, a reciprocating spring back here. It comes with a proprietary bolt, a very short bolt that's shorter than an AR-15 bolt. And that bolt has a little rat tail that impinges on this spring and runs down in here. So it does not need a uh, traditional buffer tube with a buffer spring like you see on an AR-15. This uh, rifle allows you in California to have a fully functioning magazine release. You do not need a bullet button with this type of rifle. In fact, a bullet button doesn't do anything for you in California anymore. So a fully functioning AR-15 style magazine release. The thing you'll notice is different is it has a cross bolt safety down here by the trigger. Uh, like a traditional uh, Mini 14 or a shotgun. And then the front of this is essentially just an AR-15 magazine well and dust cover that takes a proprietary bolt. So really all I've done, I left uh, everything from Fight Light Corporation black on this. I haven't painted it yet. You can see that everything that's tanned up here in the front is all from just an AR-15 that I had. So all you gotta do is set it on top, push two pins, and I've got uh, essentially a rifle that is just as functional as an AR-15. Um, this doesn't mean, of course, that we don't have AR-15s in California. We do, but we found it best not to show them off on the table here in, uh, on YouTube. So we will show you, however, some, some workarounds so that anybody who wants to have a fully legal rifle can do so. Uh, I've got mounted on the front of this some Troy rails and then, of course, just a... Uh, a uh, Streamlight Protec, a little pressure sensitive light here. And then I've got a primary arms one to six ACSS scope on top. Works good as almost like a red dot sight at one power and then dialed back out to six power. Uh, will actually reach out to, well, I've used it out to three or 400 yards so far. They say it'll reach out to 800, but we'll see about that. So uh, let's go ahead and take a pause here. I'll break it apart and show you the, the guts of this thing. Thank you. We gotta work around the helicopter, your right. helicopter friend. It sounds like we're in Nam or something. Yeah. 
more passes, he'll be making the long runs all the way to the road. Hey. All right, we're in between air raids here, so let's go ahead and talk about this thing real quick. Inside, you're going to see a hammer very similar to the AR-15, a magazine well very similar to the AR-15. A little bit different trigger assembly down here, but here's the key thing about the SCR. Instead of a, uh, a big giant buffer and buffer tube and buffer spring back here, you've got this little tiny, little tiny bolt that's on a really rigid spring in there. And the back of this, this is their proprietary bolt. It's a very short little AR-15 looking bolt, but it has this rat tail in here. And when the thing is assembled, that little rat tail impinges right in there. Oh. And that is what pushes this bolt back into place after every shot. The front of it is still a gas key, still an AR-15 bolt. In fact, that's out of my AR-15. So uh, the only thing that this rifle doesn't have, the only drawback to this to this setup, is the fact that it doesn't have a bolt hold open device. You can order one and install it on here for 30 or 40 bucks and need to get around to doing that. But as it is right now, when the rifle goes empty, all you hear is a click and there's no uh, there's no bolt locked open ready for a new mag. So, but it's a pretty cool little design, folks. It allows, it's just another option for getting around the, the uh, AR-15 laws. It just co goes to show you that they can come up with a law. We're just going to invent some cool stuff to work around it. And yes, I know, you guys will put down there in the comment section, well, that's no AR-15, you should move out of California. We got AR-15s in California, but I just wanted to show you, this is an option for some people who want to have a legal rifle, who are actually worried about being jammed up by the police, I can keep this thing in my uh, locked in my truck. I can roll around anywhere in the state of California, the friendly sections and the unfriendly sections, and uh, know that I've got a rifle to reach out there and touch somebody. Here they come again. We're going to get strafed. He's actually really close. I hope he lands here. Let's gives us a ride. Wait, it might be a, it might be get in trouble for showing how to assemble a gun on YouTube. Oh, okay, forget that. Okay, it's safe to show you now. Because they are so hard to, to assemble. That's right. Can't show that because... It assembles very similarly to the AR-15. I will tell you this, if you buy one of these, the one thing you want to do, because that little rat tail needs to mount up on that little tiny spring, you have to, have to, have to function check this thing once you put it together. It has happened before that that little rat tail gets stuck on the back of the stock and you're locked up tight. So once you function check, however, 100% reliable. Hey everyone, this is Jeff. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, always appreciate it when you rate the video, good or bad, it doesn't really matter. And we enjoy reading your comments. The three of us were out there filming and then the Crop Duster pilot showed up and he had his work to do, so we tried to work around him the best we could. Now a lot of people don't know this, but Danny, Greg, and myself, we all live in three separate cities. And we converge together on this private uh, shooting range here. And we only have just a few hours of good light to film together. In just January of this year, we had more videos demonetized for whatever reason than we did the entire year of 2018. Fortunately, we have these wonderful people supporting us on Patreon, and we can't thank you enough. For just $1 a month, you get early notifications of the videos, actual notifications, and also we have uh, monthly giveaways of cool stuff that we used in our videos. I think of Tal Flare Mouse as being kind of a community channel. Uh, it couldn't be done without the community, as far as ideas, comments, uh, people uh, donating projectiles for us to shoot, and also our Patreons and channel members. There's a lot of people that keep this channel alive, and I thank you all.